reference is cited obviously um, is um, a very important perspective, uh, offers a very important perspective for those reviewing your proposal to see literally, have you done the homework you're supposed to do? Do you know what you're talking about? Is that information? Especially if one of the persons reviewing your proposal has written a seminal article in this area and you don't include their reference, um, <laughs> that kind of uh, doesn't bode well. We also use it actually for, by our program officers. What do they use it for? To help find reviewers. I mean, it's a great source of information of additional people that might have the right subject matter expertise to help review um, that proposal. Um, clearly, and we have a lot of questions on this about formatting, and we've made it very clear that you should be following the appropriate norms in that discipline. Um, because they do differ from discipline to discipline for how the reference actually appears, et cetera. Um, we do not encourage use at all um, in fact, there are warnings in our system when someone uses et al. Um, so, um, because it's asking you for all reviewers. But there are also norms in very large disciplines for what you do. I know the physics division, for example, whose um, uh, many times articles have 500, 1,500, 2,000 review uh, 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 authors, um, they have a norm and will tell you what their expectation is for what you would include in the references cited section um, of the proposal. But obviously is required for a research proposal. Um, I will tell you the one known one it is not required for is a conference proposal.